Good morning to St. Matthew's morning prayer this Monday morning. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The first scripture reading for today is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. Amen. A reading from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way going to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is right. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low. That we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and grant us peace. Amen. And have a great day.